Hey guys, it's Ashton. And it's John. What's up, guys? We're back in the reaction video. In today's video, we're reacting to Daisy's Destruction Snuff Film. Ooh, Snuff Film. That's not good. This is from Scare Theater. Guys, go and subscribe. He makes some great shit. S C A R E T H E A T E R. Scare Theater. Um, with that being said, um, this is a suggestion for Rom. Now I'm going to lose where I'm at. Jordan Chill. Jordan Chill, thank you so much. Are we on his last one, I believe? Uh huh. Yes, we are. Jordan Chili, you've thrown it on a couple times, man. I really appreciate it. You've helped support this channel, and you guys can too if you want. Um, donate $10. We'll even react to a video for you within two to four days. Streamlines.com slash Ashton Johnson. Keep it on 10 minutes. Always include your email, video link, and title. And let's get to this video. It's a snuff film. Yeah. Oh my god, is that one with the fucking puppets? Hey guys, welcome to Scare Theater, and today I'm talking about Daisy's Destruction, which was requested by Rudy Martinez. Mm -hmm. Now, before the video starts, I want to tell you about something that I'm going to start doing. I'm going to start doing a scary picture of the day or something like that. So here is the first picture right here. It's a video that I made. Uh, it was my attempt at Zalgo, but I kind of failed. But pretty much at the beginning of each video, I'll have like a scary picture of the day. So if you guys have any scary pictures that you created yourself, you can send them to me. Scary the picture right of here. Each video, I will show this face. someone's creepy picture that they created. So that might be fun. Send them in just to my email, uh, scaretheater at gmail.com. Or leave a link in the comments or something. And that is it, guys. Uh, here's the video. Many forms of abuse take place every day, and most of the time, there really isn't anything we can do about it. Many people who perform horrific crimes, such as rape and murder, can go without being caught for a long time, and a lot of them don't get caught at all. It's true. What's even more messed up is that some of these people are deranged enough to record themselves committing these crimes. One specific type of these videos are snuff films are pornographic movies depicting a real murder, but people aren't always murdered in these films, but rather tortured, which makes it debatable whether or not it should be called snuff. a snuff film or not. I think the snuff comes from. The audience varies from mm -hmm. lunatics who enjoy watching people yeah, being no, like, tormented how do they come up with that, to pedophiles though? who specifically seek out these types of videos in which children are the stars. One infamous video like this is Daisy's Destruction. Daisy's Destruction is a very real video that depicts a little girl being subjected to whipping, torture, and a whole range of sexual acts. What the, the fuck? The behind this film is a 51-year-old man named Peter Scully. What a fucking Scully weirdo. Scully was really a virtuous man, even before he started creating these videos. He used to live in Melbourne, Australia, where he would scam investors of millions of dollars through property and IT scams. However, in 2011, he fled to the Philippines after being accused of several fraud offenses. In the Philippines, he ran an international pedophile ring, offering pay-per-view streams of children being sexually abused on the deep web and what selling the the videos fuck? to people throughout the world. Wow. People would pay Scully anywhere between $100 to $10,000 for these videos. Holy shit. One of his most well-known videos, Days of Destruction, is He's obviously so fucking annoying, that cat. Is that Boo? Yeah, he keeps going in and out of the door, like trying to open it up a little bit more. <laughs> not very easy to find, and I'm not sure why you'd want to find it. There is a documentary about Peter Scully that shows the first few seconds of the film, but all I really see is the text on the screen. I went to the deep web to search for the video myself, and I found two download links to it on a forum. Can you get in trouble for even watching it? Yes, you can. Really? That is a very serious thing. Absolutely. Um, That's why you went to the files dark been removed web. from the file sharing site for obvious reasons. However, judging by one of the comments, the download link actually did work at one point. Now, I just want to make it clear that I never planned on actually watching the video if I did find it. I was just curious to see if it was actually accessible. Although Scully was the main person behind not only Days of Destruction, but all the other films he made, he was not- I wanna know whose child this was. This is fucked up. Holy shit, this guy deserves to be killed. Like, he like where are the parents? You know what I mean? He probably kidnapped the kid, you know? God, that's so sad. Did he kill it? Did it say he killed him? I don't know. Not yet. alone. Peter Scully had several girlfriends. One named Carmian Alvarez, who was 18 years old. Alvarez, who was a child prostitute herself, became Scully's Jesus. accomplice when he picked her up off the street and gained her trust. A 12-year-old girl named Rosie and her 9-year-old cousin were two of Scully's victims that were lured in by Alvarez. Allegedly, after Alvarez led Rosie and her cousin to Scully's home, she came back two days later to see that they were wearing dog collars. The fuck? Scully told the two girls to undress and kiss each other before he abused them on camera. 
Rosie told the police that while being assaulted, Alvarez would hold a pillow over her face to muffle her screams. Jesus. What makes this all the more terrifying is that in between filming sessions, Rosie and her cousin would be brought to the backyard to dig their own graves. Five days after they were kidnapped, Alvarez unchained them, and once they realized they were digging their own graves, they managed to escape. Wow. wow. On February 20th, 2015, the police recorded the moment that they finally tracked down Scully and arrested him. Holy shit. When they caught him, not only did they find all the horrific videos that he made, but they also uncovered the body of an 11-year-old girl named Cindy underneath the building that Peter Scully once rented. Scully had accidentally killed her while abusing her in 2013, so he buried her body under the building to hide his business. Scully and his accomplices are now facing a life sentence. Wait, were prison. those real bones? Yeah, I'm sure that's real. And for what they have done. While it is very sad to know that stuff like this is very real and does happen, it's also great that people like this are being caught and put away so that they cannot harm anyone wow. else. For now, we can only do whatever we can to make sure so things like this up. Holy become shit. much less frequent. Wow. There it is, guys. That was horrifying, honestly. Um, Daisy Destruction snuff film. Scare Theater makes such good shit. Go in and subscribe to them. You guys, throw down for more of them videos because yes. honestly, like, we don't got time to watch them, but we do this for you guys and I want to see more of them. So True that. If you guys have any good ones, please throw them down. How do we look so white on that camera? It's because of the light. It still doesn't make sense, though, because we're pretty tan right now, actually. I for, know. Yeah, that's You know, true. we got... A, I'm more caramel looking now than I am fucking white and holy shit i look like i just died i'm like you shall repent your sins or face the suffering anyway though i want to see more of them freaking videos like i could literally binge watch every one of them true that anyway guys with that being said we'll catch you in the next video and on the flip side Bye, guys. Peace.